When it comes to using Facebook, one of the tools that's built into Facebook that you should be using, or at least consider using, is the edited custom list. What that does is, is, is it allows you to change the look and feel of your newsfeed based on an audience that you have pre-selected. You get to determine who is in that list and you get to determine what you get to see. Examples of where this might be very helpful, particularly if you were running your own business, would include setting up a list that maybe um, is segregated like this. Let's say I'm in a direct selling company and I have a lot of friends in that same direct selling company, but I also have friends that are not in direct sales. Those are also some of my customers. I can create a list that takes my global friends and I put them into segmented lists. So I might have a list of uh, friends not in the same company that I'm in or any direct sales for that matter. I might have a list of only people that are in the same direct selling company that I'm in. And I might have a list uh, that's even, you know, women under 30 or uh, men only. What happens when I have these customized lists is that on the occasion that I'm sharing my business in my personal feed, I don't have to put it out there for everyone to see. I can put it out there for only people in that list to see. That not only keeps the branding and the content unique to me, because really that designated audience is the only one that's going to see it, but it also helps to increase the reachability, if you will, of that post. Because the way the algorithms work, when you make a post, it doesn't get distributed to everyone on your list immediately. It does a sampling. It will send it out to a few people, then it comes back based on the comments or the reactions, then it goes out to another group of people. If people are not commenting or reacting, eventually that distribution stops. So your organic reach goes down. In other words, if I have a sales related post, and I put it out on my friends, my global friends list, and the first few people in those sample batches are in the same industry that I'm in, that's not my target audience for my business. So they may not react or comment on those. They might see it and they might wanna use it for themselves, but that's not my target audience. And so if they are not commenting and reacting, it, it increases the likelihood that the rest of the people on my list won't see it. When I have custom lists and I take that same business related post and I put it out there, but I set the audience to only people that are not in direct sales. So therefore it's a, a customer group. Then it increases the likelihood, at least I'm hitting my target audience uh, to begin with and it increases the likelihood that it will get to a further uh, reach of that target audience. Hope that makes sense. All right, so that's one way that you might consider using custom lists. The other way is if there is a lot going on in your company or in your community, um, you know, whatever the situation may be, that is filling up your newsfeed with all sorts of very specific information, that it's not allowing your newsfeed to show you all the other things that are happening that you might want to know about with your friends then when you adjust the custom list and you say, I only want to see posts from this audience, that's what's going to show up in your newsfeed. That doesn't mean you don't have access to all the other friends. You do, but what's showing up in your newsfeed is whatever uh, the custom list settings are. So in other words, if I have my custom list and I have a custom list for um, direct sales consultants, and I have a custom list for friends that are not in direct sales, and I have a custom list for um, my church group, all right? When I go and I adjust my settings for uh, my newsfeed to show my custom list for my church group, then when I log on to Facebook from a computer, it's only gonna show me um, my friends, or my church group friends posts in my newsfeed. That's what I'm gonna see. Um, if I have that setting to people who are not in direct sales, if I have that custom list, it's only going to show me this. All right, so that's how we're going to uh, kind of walk through these examples. And I'm going to show you how to make these settings adjustments so that you can uh, experience what I'm talking about. And of course, if you have questions, let us know. 
So let's get started and walk you through how to make these lists for your Facebook. Now I'm showing you everything, of course, here from desktop, and I use Chrome as my browser. So here on the left-hand side, there was a See More, and I clicked See More, and it expanded this menu. You're going to go down here to the left where it says Friends List. So when I click on this, this is these are all my lists that I have already set up. And so I can create a list uh, and customize it. So I'm going to click Create List, and I'm going to come up with a new list name here. I will call this, um, let's see, I will call this uh, Direct Sales Friends. All right, now I can add who would I like to add to this list. So I'm going to add my friend uh, Jennifer Keller starting off. I'm just going to start off adding Jennifer and I'm going to create this list, direct sales list. So now if I, you can see my manage list, direct sales list, this is all I'm going to see here are Jennifer Keller posts because she's the only one in there. So now my newsfeed has changed to anything uh, that is Jennifer Keller that she has posted. Now let's walk through how to add someone to this list. So here I am in the direct sales friends custom list. I can click manage list because there's a few ways to do this. I'll say edit list and let's find a friend. It'll show me who I have on this list. And if I click on friends, it'll pull up all of my friends. And then I can just go through here and I can click on uh, the different friends that are in direct sales or in this particular category and add them to that list. So I'll click finish. And now they are on the list because if I go to manage list, edit list, you'll see that they're in there. All right. So you can see now, if I look at my newsfeed, it's uh, my friends list. Now, how do I find that? Once again, is um, by going down here on the left-hand side. You'll notice that it changed, by the way. Uh, I started off in this new version of Facebook, and then when you uh, initially went to create this custom list, it's like all of a sudden it starts to look a little bit like classic Facebook. So you might find it under this Explore option. And if so, go to friends list here. And then when you get to friends list, you pick which list, uh, so direct sales friends. So if I selected in this case, small business owners, my feed now shows uh, anyone that I've added to that small business owner um, section, right? Because look, these are all friends of mine that own their own, own their own business. So let me go back and change the list. So let me go back here again, explore, see more friends lists, uh, let me find one that says guys, or oh, here, friends, no jewelers. So if I click on this, it changes again. And now it, these are all friends of mine who are not jewelers uh, or devoted people. So the only thing I'm going to see in the newsfeed are things that they are posting. So this could be a great tool for you in terms of not only how you change up what you are exposed to in terms of what's coming through on your newsfeed, but also what you're posting. So when it comes to posting, let me, I'll get to that here in two seconds. When you first get into Facebook and you click on newsfeed, it's still going to show you everything. Like, look, this goes back to the new, uh, the new newsfeed. This goes back to everything to see those custom lists, to see that information, to filter it. You are going to need to go over on the left hand side, go to your friends list and then select the friends list so that that's what your newsfeed is going to look like. So it doesn't always come up initially like this. You have to go and make those, that setting every time you log in. Now let's say you're making a post. So if I'm going to create a post, you can see that the audience right now is set to friends, no jewelers. Okay. Because I'm in the friends, no jewelers custom list. If I'm on my garden variety newsfeed, when I first come into Facebook, and I want to create a post just for that list or a custom list. When I click on the place where you make a post, you'll notice that the window that pops up has this drop down arrow that says friends. Now I can change this instead of going to all of my global friends. If I want to set that privacy so that only um, one of my custom lists sees it, that is, this is where I would make those selections. And again, the advantage here is if you are on the occasion sharing something about your business on your personal timeline, because remember Facebook doesn't like us running businesses on our personal accounts, 
but if you're running your business and you want to um, post something on your personal timeline and you want it to go to a specific audience, this is where you make those adjustments. And that's the value of having that custom list. And you can make it right there. All right. So I hope that this is helpful to you. I hope um, it brings you some, some peace and uh, it also helps increase some visibility of your business traffic. If you have questions, let us know. And we're wishing you the best of luck. See ya.